Hey friends. Okay. It is time because it's end of January for me to share my January favorites. So all the favorites from the month of January that I realized I couldn't live without and completely were adored by me. That does not mean that everyone is going to adore these things, but these were the things that stood out throughout the month of January that I absolutely loved and could not live without. Okay, so with that being said, maybe not living without is a little extreme, but things I loved in January. Okay, I am first, first I'm gonna talk about a book that I read in January. I read six books in January and out of all six books, I think this would be one of my favorites. And it's for a couple reasons. So this is the book, Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson. This is actually a debut novel from this author. I think he has one other one out now. Um, but this book, okay, so I tend to be a nonfiction reader. I, I read like all the other books that I read this month were nonfiction, whether that be self-help or a nutritional book or a memoir. Like I, I love nonfiction type stuff. Um, but my husband is trying to do more reading this year. So I told him for every fiction book he reads, I will read it after him. So he actually finished this book. I don't even think it took him two weeks to finish this book. And he hasn't read a fiction book and I don't even know how long. So after he finished it, um, I dove in and this book was amazing. Okay, if you're looking for a good fiction book to read that will have you in its grasp the entire time, check out this book. It is also a movie with Nicole Kidman and Colin Firth. Um, if you want to watch the trailer, I don't know if it's got any spoilers. I can't think through. Um, this book, you do not want a spoiler because if you, it will ruin the book for you. So you might not ought to watch the trailer. Um, this book had me guessing the entire time I was reading it. And then it, at the end, what, like it, it just blew my mind. It was not at all what I expected. Um, so, okay, let me, let me read you the back so you have kind of an idea of what it is. It's technically a thriller. So, um, it's an international bestseller, major motion picture starring Nicole Kidman and Colin Firth. Okay. It's okay. Let me, should I read you what other people say? <sighs> okay. The Los Angeles Times says a brilliant nasty noir drags you down into deep, dark, and disturbing waters. Wall Street Journal calls it explosive. People Magazine says you'll stay up late until you know. Um, Dennis Lehane says an exceptional thriller. It left my nerves jangling for hours after I finished the last page. And that is so true. I couldn't read anything for a couple days afterwards. I had to like sit with it. Okay. Memories define us. So what if you lost yours every time you went to sleep? Your name, your identity, your past, even the people you love all forgotten overnight and the one person you trust may be telling you only half the story it is really good okay so check it out if you're a reader um i gave it five stars on goodreads which if you guys want to look me up heather mattern i think i'm heather mattern on goodreads might be heather a mattern but go ahead you can look me up and friend me and you can see all my reviews and everything there but this in january this was very memorable um i loved it so if you're looking for a thriller, get this book. Okay, on to the next thing. Okay, this is another favorite. I got this for my husband, but I am completely in love with it. This is the 48 hour, yeah, 48 hour um, Toms for men. Okay, I've used Toms before and not been a big fan of the ones that I've tried. I picked this up for his stocking. It was his stocking stuffer in December. Um, it is white. It's got the white, you know, it's a white deodorant. He's not a big fan of white, so I have been using it. And, oh my goodness, it smells amazing. It's the North Woods. It's the North Woods Tom for Men. Um, Non-irritating, no artificial fragrances. 
uh, no bad things, but it, it has a lavender, to me, it smells like lavender mixed with other woodsy things. Let's see what it says. Yeah, I don't know what else is in it, but favorite, loved it. I could smell it throughout the day. Like I would put it on and I don't use um, like perfumes. I use essential oils and I kept thinking, did I put on lavender? Like I could smell the lavender throughout the day. So just cause it says for men does not mean that women can't use it. It was awesome. And 48 hours, it worked like a charm. I love it. Okay. Um, what are we gonna do next? Let's do some oily things that were favorites. This was the first month that I tried um, all of these products, actually. I was gonna say only two of them, but um, all three of these were new. And we're gonna start with Essential, I'm gonna drop them, Essential Beauty Serum. Okay, this stuff um, is amazing. And I am still figuring out other ways to use this stuff. So this has, it's a blend. It has cedarwood oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, blue cypress, rose hip, jojoba oil, lavender, myrrh, clove, wolfberry seed oil, um, royal Hawaiian sandalwood. It's amazing. Okay. It says it's for dry skin. So it's essential beauty serum for dry skin. It smells amazing. Like it is truly, it is truly a beautiful smell. Um, I'm already about halfway done with this. What I have done, okay, is I poured about a quarter of the bottle into my hand, well, not hand lotion, my body lotion, because I, I do have dry skin, and so I use lotion every day, and so I poured a quarter of the bottle into there, shook it up. That body lotion that was kind of okay to begin with has become like a go-to, I love it so much. My skin, I only have to put it on once a day versus twice a day, and I've used that body lotion before, and that was not the case, so I swear this stuff has made it, um, I don't know, my skin just loves it. And then the rest, how I've been using it um, lately is as a face serum. So um, when I cleanse my face, I will do a drop of this, put it on my, well, two drops, three drops, three drops, it says add three to five drops of serum to day and night moisturizer, or you can spot apply. So I would do, I think I usually do three. I go for two and then one drops out. So I've been doing three drops a day after I clean my face, put that on, and then I do my moisturizer on top and I'm loving it, loving it so much. So if you guys are interested in the Essential Beauty Serum, message me and I will help you guys figure out how to get your hands on this baby. Okay, the next um, oily thing that I loved this month was Tranquil. And this was the first time I've tried Tranquil. And this is in the Rollerball. I love their Rollerball blends. Not just the blend, but even the, the container. It's such heavy duty. And I love the gold tops, which, you know, you guys know based on watching my previous videos, I'm all about the packaging and it's just like so pretty. Okay, and I just got this in January and you can already see where it's at, I've already used a good bit. I use this right before I go to bed and it has lavender, cedarwood, chamomile, and coconut oil, and that's all that's in here. And I, I will roll it over my thyroid and onto my chest. I've been sleeping amazing, but bonus, I've been dreaming again. And I don't know if I have mentioned this in a past video, but, um, my dreams disappeared for the longest time. And I know that part of it was I was dealing with a lot um, during that time when my dreams disappeared. And they have kind of come and gone. I have a dream almost every night when I use this stuff. And I'm not talking like bad dreams, just like symbolic and interesting dreams. So um, if you guys are struggling with dreams <laughs> or not having them um, or wanting to dream more or just wanting to like sleep, like go into a deep sleep, I highly recommend this Tranquil bottle. I'm actually gonna get another one because I keep this next to my bed. Um, it's part of my evening routine to roll it on and it smells amazing. That lavender, chamomile, and um, cedarwood, I love the combination. So it smells great when you're going to sleep. 
but I want to get another one to carry in my purse because this is also a very calming blend. So I want to have it with me at all times as a highly sensitive person and traveling and introvert and all the things because I have been out and wanted it but realized it was sitting next to my bed. So I need another one for my purse. Okay, last oily thing that was a favorite. It was the first time I tried it and I was, I should have been trying it before, but the grapefruit lip balm, which I'm actually gonna put some on right now. Um, this stuff, vanilla mint is my favorite. So let me just start by saying that um, but vanilla mint is also only around it's seasonal so they don't always have it I got the grapefruit in the vanilla mint holiday collection which the holiday collection has all four of our lip balms you get the lavender the grapefruit the cinnamon and the vanilla mint um, I honestly was like I don't need the grapefruit why are they sending the grapefruit this stuff Oh, it's so good. I totally don't know why it took me so long to try it. I don't know what turned me off about grapefruit. I guess partly because I'm not a like, I, I'm more into the chai kind of chapsticks and vanilla and you know, those types, not really citrusy. But this stuff, it feels amazing on just like all of our other lip balms. It also, bonus, I feel like it helps with cravings. Grapefruit is known to do that. I will put grapefruit essential oil, the um, Vitality line in my water and it helps with my sugar cravings. But to have this sitting next to me, like if I'm doing work and have a craving and put it on, I have been completely surprised at how much this grapefruit lip balm has helped with my sugar cravings. Especially since today's day two of Whole30, I've been really using a lot out of this baby. So I'm probably going to need um, to get another one soon because I, once again, I keep this one just like Tranquil next to me. I don't put it in my purse. <sighs> I'm gonna have to get multiples. Okay, so that's another favorite. Any of those, if you're interested, you can contact me. Okay, lastly, January favorites. I have, I have three other things. Okay, the Passion Planner. Okay, for January, I chose the Passion Planner for my 2018 planner and I'm loving it. I will be doing a full flip through of my month in a couple weeks on the YouTube channel here, so stay tuned. Um, okay, but within that, these two things are the last of my favorites. These highlighters, they are called the Mild Liners. They are amazing, okay? If you guys like highlighters, whether it's because you highlight in books, whether it's because you plan, whether it's because you study, if you are looking for a killer highlighter, I highly recommend these Mild Liners. I got them on Amazon. One side is like a little beveled um, highlighter. The other side is like a pen. So I've been using them. I bought like three packs, and so I have like all kinds of different colors. Um, the colors are beautiful. They, I think my favorite is they have like this gray color and it's, it's just stunning and gorgeous. So that is one of my favorites. Lastly, another thing I got off of Amazon are these little pen loops. Let me show you. Okay, so the Passion Planner does not come with pen holders. I added two because every week I use two different colors to highlight. So I have the two um, pen loops there and let me show you them I got them once again I got them on Amazon they are what does it say okay so I can't tell the company it says notebook accessory paper books so maybe it's paper books okay it comes in a big pack I think you get a dozen I've given quite a bit away looks like this okay you get a big pack they were not that expensive Okay, they weren't expensive and it's a sticker so basically you got your pen loop and then you got your sticker and you peel it off and stick it where you want it so I have one on my journal my composition book journal and then I have two on my passion planner so you guys they're amazing okay if you need pen loops they're amazing they do not hold they probably would if I stretch them out but I like the pens to come in and out super easily you know, like that. So I keep them for my highlighters 
and I don't know if I have a regular pen here, and like a regular pen, um, they do not hold my fountain pens. So keep that in mind. They're not large enough to hold my fountain pens. Um, if you guys have a suggestion of a pen holder that does hold like the Lamy Safaris um, fountain pens, let me know because I am interested, especially for my actual writing journal. Um, I would love to hear. So that is everything. Those are my favorites for January. I cannot wait for February to see what things, what books, what oily goodness, all the things that I end up falling in love with in February. So I hope you guys have fallen in love with it a lot this month. And if you have any favorites that you'd like to mention down below, I would love to check them out. And um, if they end up making my video, I will totally give you credit for the suggestion. All right, talk to you guys next week. And have a great, um, let's see, what day is it today? Tuesday. Have a great rest of the week and weekend.